Okay, so I know last time I forgot to actually show you what we got for a food shop. Um, I've just had an Ocado order delivered today. Um, we were away in London at the weekend, so yeah, we didn't get a chance to go to Sainsbury's, so I just did an Ocado, um, which I actually really do prefer doing, so it just depends if I can get like a time slot that works for me. Um, so yeah, I thought I would show you what we've got for this week. Um, I've kind of tried to separate it in meals, but yeah, just bear with me. Use this for my um, smoothie bowls and then also my protein shake in the morning so i've got a top up of that and um, this is also the best granola ever it's honestly so good it's my favorite one um so i use this on top of um yogurt and i also use it on top of my smoothie bowls and then for um one meal this week i was going to do like a curry just like a little korma curry i really love these korma pots they taste so good the consistency of, of them is just like really really nice and you just add like i think for these ones you just add coconut milk and cream um so yeah they're really really good so I've got my cream for that. I already have coconut milk, so I didn't need that. I've also got coconut rice to have with the curry. And then also some garlic and coriander naans. And then I've got some cooked chicken here. This is probably mainly just for Ralph to have on top of his food. Um, and then if I have a salad, I'll probably use this as well. And then, actually, no, I won't because I've got these for my salad. So... I got these buttermilk chicken tenders. Um, obviously on Ocado, they do Ocado own and then they also stock M&S on there now, which I think is really, really good. Um, so I got these buttermilk chicken tenders to have in like wraps for lunch and then also to have on top of salad. Um, I've got these lightly dusted cod fillets. Um, I wanna try and eat more fish. Like I'm not very good with fish. So yeah, I thought I would try and eat more. So I just got some cod. And then to go with that, I got this potato and spinach gratin. I thought that looked really, really nice. I also got these meatballs. These are honestly incredible. They're so, so good. So I thought we'd have meatballs one night. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up the baby potatoes and then roast them in like oil and seasoning and stuff. And then we'll have some that with some broccoli. Um, I've got, so you've got chicken breast fillets and then I've also got the mini fillets. Um, I've got some Maryland minis. I've said this before, I think, but these are a really good, like low calorie snack. I've also got Doritos because so I thought on Saturday night I'm going to do like a barbecue chicken nachos. So I got those for that. Also got a couple of pop chip bags. I absolutely love these. And again, they're quite a low calorie snack. Some grated cheddar and mozzarella. Um, I got eggs, mushrooms and spinach because I like to have these for lunch. So I'll like chop up the mushrooms, chop up the spinach and then have scrambled eggs on like those cauliflower hash browns. Um, I don't, I've got some in the freezer, but they're honestly incredible big thing of milk for um jamie's coffee and then also for tea um and then we have oat milk and everything else so i got an oat drink from rude health um this one jamie usually has in his porridge and then i usually have the chocolate oat drink in my smoothie bowl and smoothies and hot chocolates and all things like that um i usually get the oatly but apparently they've got loads of sugar in so i thought i would try rude health for a change um, I also get this yogurt. This yogurt is honestly the best. So I have this with like a little dollop of Biscoff spread and then also like my granola. I really, really like this. Peppers, I'm going to do like a tomato. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm going to do a tomato and sweet red pepper pasta tonight, I think. Um, so yeah, I've got some extra peppers for that. I'll also use peppers for the um, barbecue chicken nachos as well. We've been obsessed with these yogurts recently. They're so nice. They're, yeah, a salted caramel. And, yeah, they're just really nice for a little after-dinner snack. Um, squash. We go through quite a lot of squash. I'm not really good at drinking water, so I need to have some sort of squash in there. parmesan stuff for the pasta tonight. Broccoli, like I've said before. Um, and I got some little fruit shortcake biscuits. I love these. And we've gone through so many packets of hodnobs, so I thought... Maybe these might be a little bit more of a healthier alternative, but I do need a biscuit with my cup of tea. And, oh, and then I got Ralph. He's got some treats in here. I'll show you these, actually, because they're a really good, um, a really good dog treat. Ugh. He absolutely loved these. So they're the Pet Munchies Natural Dog Treats. So I got him a pack of lamb pack of chicken and then he has these with dentist sticks as well these are really good because i actually feel like yeah they actually do really help clean his teeth like they've got all these like holes in them and stuff they're quite um what's the word they're hard but like not too hard and i always find that when i get him the ones that are like solid they absolutely stink and i'm like how is that gonna make his breath clean 
anyway got him those and then i think that is everything so that is everything for the week got my key in the door i can't help thinking you'll be there oh i keep falling back acting so damn insecure don't get me wrong when i wake in the morning all of these feelings are gone why are you here in the back of my mind maybe i just need somebody that i you feel the space you know how to do it just right maybe i don't really feel cause this desire is only shallow and i'm a mess alone when i'm on my own and maybe and maybe maybe i don't really miss you i just see the silence late at night i think i need someone to hold me restless and cold in my bones i just can't sleep when i'm guys i was gonna say good morning but it's definitely not called good morning i feel like it's about three o'clock let's see if your balance are lovely chubby. um so yeah sorry i've been a really rubbish vlogger this week i don't know what i just feel in a bit of a rut um this week and i'm not sure why i don't know if it's because i had a really nice week last week and then this week i've kind of just like been on my own a lot um i've gone to like do a lot of content a lot of filming and i've just like hated my makeup and all that jazz so i've just had one of those weeks but it's fine i've just got to ride for it and then hopefully monday will be a bit better now i'm hoping tomorrow will be better i think part of it is because i've been really rubbish with the gym this week and i feel like when i'm rubbish with the gym um i don't feel as good so i'm thinking that is why um, um and it's three o'clock and i've not had lunch and i'm absolutely starving i made a bagel this morning and i only ate half because I'd ate half, the door went, I put my bagel down, come back, Ralph licked all, licked all the toppings off. <laughs> Luckily it wasn't anything that would have harmed mm. him, but yeah, so I was like, great, thanks for that, Ralph. And I've actually been to get my lashes and brows done this morning, so I've got no product on my lashes or brows. Honestly incredible. Um, I will put like mascara on tomorrow, but I can't really get them wet today, so I just needed to avoid putting any product on them. So yeah, I've done that just filmed a reel and now i'm gonna make some lunch because i'm starving and i thought i would show you how i make my smoothie bowl this is basically all i use um i use these um is it acai or acai i don't even know packs strawberry and banana frozen um chocolate protein i'm gonna try and go to the gym tonight which is why i'm gonna have my protein and my smoothie bowl now um chocolate oat milk there's just not much left in that one so i might need that one and then strawberries from top and i'm gonna get some granola actually do I have some granola in here? 
I believe I do. There we go. That should still be alright. Granola on top. Oh, and then obviously a dollop of Biscoff. So Some tweakments, which I'm very excited about. So, I think we're going to go in with the nose today. Yes, so we're going to be doing a teeny tiny little touch of derma fillers along the nose for a non surgical rhinoplasty. So, we're going to be correcting that little dip there and we're going to be lifting the tip a little bit. So we're going to make the nose look really nice and straight and quite petite, actually. Yeah, that's what it's like at the moment. She's going to go. Good riddance. <laughs> and then I think I'm going to pop a little bit in the jaw as well, right? Yeah, a little something, because obviously you have a lovely jawline. But I think just a touch, excuse me, in the angles, we're just going to sharpen it a little bit and give you that kind of contoured look yeah, without actually nice. any contour. It's all about Perfect. the light and dark effect. Yes, that's what we need. Beautiful. And just like you know petite contoured and looks significantly straighter mm. and then I love the tweakment of the jawline it just looks it just definitely just pop just gives yeah. it that little pop doesn't it but very natural, yeah, natural. We, we were discussing Everything how like sometimes natural, yeah. it can be a little bit too much sometimes yeah. with this is just like a little like, boop, little bits and bobs just before the wedding to get the glow really next level so stay tuned for that that is happening in April hi guys so I've just got back from London I have gone darker with the hair which I'm obsessed with I'm just sat here because this is like the best light and this is Jamie's um attempt of making the bed this morning so that's great isn't it lovely attempt round of applause not um so yeah I've literally just got back from London it's like half past two so not bad at all although I did have a bit of an earlier one this morning my train was at half seven so as you would have seen from the little montage clips I have just had a little top up in my jaw and my nose now my nose is oh my god I'm going like cross-eyed looking at that my nose is quite what do you want are you mad at me for being out you've been a good boy though <laughs> that's not a good boy is it Thank you for your kisses, little no foxy. Um, sorry, he's a bit crazy because he's just been on his own since about nine o'clock this morning. So he's, he's ready for some playtime. Um, but yeah, really happy with my hair. We just put a bit of a black colour on top and then just popped a toner through the ends because I can't decide. Ready, steady, go. Ready, steady, go. Um, yeah, because I can't decide if I want to have my hair fully dark for the wedding or... What's going on here? Have you got a bone or something under there? Oh, yes you do. Ah, nah, ah, 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 ah. Nicely, please. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Ah, nicely. Nicely. No. 
We don't grab, do we? We take it nicely. Nicely. Good boy, thank you. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, so I can't decide if I want to go like full on dark or still have lighter bits in. So as you can see, I've got a bit darker on top and then it kind of gets lighter as it goes down. Just as a little like test. Now I am so pale right now. I've obviously got no makeup on. So yeah, I can't wait to like put a full face of makeup on tomorrow. Um, I can't put makeup on this afternoon because of my injectables. Um, I'm going to go tan my body because my hands make me feel sick because they're that pale um and i've got some things to show you so maybe i'll show you that today so sorry that you'll have a no makeup face for um a bit today because yeah i've got some bits from farfetch to show you and i've got a new farfetch discount code so i definitely want to share that with you what i'm going to do is i want to sort this room out because it's stressing me out that the bed's not made have a little tidy up and then i'm going to show you guys um so the in my last i can't remember if it was my last video or the video before that i had some square toe boots and they didn't fit me so anyway i found these ones on asos and i love them so i wanted like a really smarter pair of boots that i could wear in the evening that wasn't like a heel um like wearing a strappy heel do you know what i mean i wanted a smarter pair of boots and i also wanted them to be square toe so i found these ones on asos which are honestly incredible they've got the perfect square toe and then the heel is just so nice perfect height for me it's not too high just that little bit more dressier that little bit more evening wear um and i just absolutely love them the leather is really really soft as well what are you doing i think they were around like 90 pounds so yeah mm, i think they are leather they smell like leather um but yeah i really really love them and they're like perfect worn with like leather trousers over the top um like jeans like straight leg jeans these look really really cool and i absolutely love them so i'm working with farfetch over on instagram um i'm not being paid to promote them on here but i just wanted to show you guys because the discount code is really great um i also got my wedding shoes from farfetch literally the week before they messaged me to work together again so i did pay for them my wedding shoes myself i've just now got a discount code that you guys can get them for cheaper um so i definitely wanted to show you guys them but i did kindly get these from farfetch and i went for the balenciaga sunglasses now i'm on a bit of a sunglasses hype at the minute i definitely do not need any more pairs but i loved the shape of these and i've got similar ones to this from saint laurent but they're a lot bigger so i was kind of wanting something a bit thinner oh oh god i was about to show you them on and then i just remembered i'm not allowed to put sunglasses on so yeah, absolutely love these. You can use my code 10RCH to get 10% off. There is restriction on certain brands and there's a minimum spend, but you will get 10% off if you want to purchase these, along with some other money pieces as well. And then, for the moment of truth, I've honestly unpacked these hills so many times just to stare at them and I'm like, I just need to keep them in the box. So I got myself some Jimmy Choo's, my pur purse, my first pair of Jimmy Choo's and I'll be wearing them for our wedding. So I just feel like that's so, so special. Um, comes with the gorgeous dust bag. Actually, I'll pop, I've done a little unboxing. I'll pop that up here. Um, and then these are my wedding shoes in all their glory. I'm honestly so so happy with them i've been like testing them around the apartment um also what do you guys feel about wedding shoes james is like no no no, you shouldn't show me you shouldn't wear them and i'm like hon you're probably not even going to see them under my dress anyway so i'm not really that bothered about people seeing my wedding shoes before the day let me know what you think down below i mean i've literally shown 170,000 people on my instagram so it's not like i'm keeping them a secret anymore right what's going on with this I've been trying so well just to put it back in there. Right by there. Come on. There we go. Okay, so these are my wedding shoes. Can we just take a minute? 
they are the perfect height for me so some of the jimmy choos are literally like that high and i just yeah it's just not even worth it with me so when i saw these ones i was like they're perfect they've got quite a thick heel so i'm not gonna be like wobbling around everywhere they're honestly so comfortable and oh, i just absolutely love the bit of glitz on them and what I thought as well is like I didn't want to be spending like these are expensive they're 825 pounds with my discount code you can get them 10% off so I'm doing something can't do that under pressure um but I will wear these like I'm obviously not going to wear them until the wedding but after the wedding I'll wear them like on an evening on holiday like they're just a really really nice heel and like I said yeah I didn't want to be spending that much on a wedding shoe for them just to live in my wardrobe for the rest of my life so yeah i'm really really happy with them um so if you're like me and don't want anything too high then i would definitely have a look at these my friend lauren actually said that she's got the same ones without the diamantes so if you didn't you weren't too keen on the diamonds then yeah you can get them in all nude and they also do them in all glitz as well which i think is incredible my farfetch discount code is valid until the 3rd of march so yeah you can buy anything within the restricted bands brands i think the restricted bands are things like gucci fendi Bottega, saint lebron um things like that but there's still some amazing brands that you can get the 10 percent off with right let me just pack these up so i might have made myself a little naughty purchase I told myself that I was only allowed to make naughty purchases for outfits on the three wedding days. So we've got the Wednesday, which is the welcome party, which I'm going to wear my cult guy dress for. We've got one day, which we're going on a catamaran, which this item is for. And then obviously we've got the wedding day, which I'm sorted for anyway. So my only thing that I feel like I need is a really good, nice pair of denim shorts, which I've not found yet. Um... Hold on, I can just leave that done up. So I got myself a little swim my piece from Fendi. Now I've wanted this for ages and I feel like if I'm ever gonna treat myself and it's not like, then why not on my wedding week, you know? Once in a lifetime week, this is gonna be, so I want it to be the best. And obviously this swimsuit I'll have in my wardrobe forever. Um, so I got the classic Fendi swimsuit, which I absolutely love now. I had to size up so I got a size 10 in this which is I believe an Italian 42 yeah Italian 42 UK 10 this fits me like a glove it's absolutely perfect I did actually order two sizes I ordered the 10 and the 12 because I wasn't sure if it would like come up small and obviously with my long torso situation the 12 did fit but it was like rippling in bits um so I would definitely say potentially size up if you wanted to because I thought that the 10 might have been a bit too big um but it wasn't it was like snug and it's actually really flattering for a swimsuit I've never had a swimsuit so flattering um some I feel like they can make you like push your boobs down and make you look really flat chested whereas this kind of like hugs you in all the right places it sits really nicely like on the bum it doesn't like ruffle or anything um and yeah i just thought this would be really really nice with the low scoop back and i'll probably wear this with like maybe some denim shorts and like an oversized white shirt or maybe even some like cream trousers oh yeah i've got some cream knitted trousers that these would be nice with and then like a really like oversized white shirt so i think that's what i'm gonna wear for the catamaran that is my outfits i'm so excited about um so that was my naughty purchase slap on the wrist hide my bank card from me even though i'm about to order a dining table and chairs but jamie does not need to know about that until it arrives what, last thing i wanted to mention is my amazing friend dion has just bought out her um edit with kaya the label um i've got a couple of pieces here so i just thought i would show you with them I'm actually going to try these on, so I'm going to do some stories, so I'll insert the clips of me trying them on air, but I'm not going to do it now. Oh, that's a really, really nice material. That is gorge. So do you know the Jack Moose kind of like cardigans? They've got the same sort of style like that. And this, honestly, this rib is actually really, really good quality. I've never actually owned anything from Cry the Label before, so I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. And I feel like that will be gorge for like a little date night. You could wear it like in the summer with some like cargo trousers, which I've got here as well. Um, yeah, that is actually, honestly, that is really, really nice. So I got a size small in that one to go with it and these are kind of like a sheeny satin cargo pants so these with a pair of heels would look really really nice 
Um, I got a size eight in them and they're like a cargo pant and then they go into like a split hem. So I feel like these would look really, really nice um, as like a little evening number as well as in the day. So yeah, I'm excited to try those on. Congratulations, Dion, my babe. You are incredible and I'm so proud of you. Um, so yeah, love those bits. I'll leave them down below. And that is everything. I've actually got a sore throat from talking for 17 minutes. Wow. Um, I'm going to now go make myself a cup of tea. I'm going to tan and put some joggers on because I just feel, although it's weird, I feel so pale, but I don't actually look that pale on camera. I mean, when I come up close and personal, it's not the best. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm going to do for the rest of the afternoon. I'm going to put a series on. Oh my God, just talking about series. I'm telling everyone about it and I know most people have watched it. Tinder Swindler mind-blowing i'm not going to give away too much just go and watch it if you've not already because yeah absolutely baffled with that um, i'm just thinking if there's anything else that i've not shown you i've also got the dior lip oil on my lips which i really really like right i need to go order some new makeup order this dining table and chairs reply to some emails do some admin before the weekend um and I'm gonna put my tan on now because I don't wanna be sticky before I go to bed. Guys, I just realized I hadn't shown you our new kettle and toaster. So these are both from Alessi. Um, we did have like jewel lit ones before, but they were silver and most of our appliances are like black um, or glass or wood. So the silver kind of didn't really go. Um, but you can get these on Farfetch with my discount code. So I'll pop the link down to these below as well. I don't know about you, but these are honestly the best things to come out of Easter. The extremely chocolatey hot cross buns and the salted caramel ones. They were in the MS when I was at the train station, so I picked some up and I'm excited to have these for breakfast tomorrow. Hello, um, just tanned, so I'm in my PJs, but I've just received a few more parcels. There was like loads of, I have to bend down, there was loads of parcels outside my neighbour's next door, and I was like, oh, she's got a lot of parcels, like she never usually does. And then I had her parcel on my door. And then I just took the dog, out, the dog, I took Ralph out for a walk and passed her. And then the parcels that are outside the door were then outside my door when I came back. So he obviously put them outside the beach. I was wrong door. But I've got some really exciting parcels. So first one is from the Biscuit Company. Um, so we're actually getting um, some biscuits made for for the wedding for, from her. Um, and she just sent me, she sent me some of the samples which I'm not going to show you guys yet because I don't want obviously the guests to see. But then she sent me this extra little um, biscuit package. So it says bride to be and like hearts and stuff like that. So that was really, really nice. Um, these biscuits are great. I love these like personalised style biscuits. I think they're really, really nice. Perfect as like a little gift as well. Valentine's. I know she's got a Valentine's box. So yeah, I'll definitely check her out. And then I also got a new Zara diffuser that's just arrived. This one is Silk Peony. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to smell like, but I just really like the bottle. <laughs> Classic, me. Um, I thought the bottle was really, really nice. We don't actually have a active diffuser in there currently. Obviously, our recycling, as you can see, just gets out of hand most days, really. But this was the bottle. How nice is this? I'm going to have this in the lounge, I think. Let me see if I can... I always hate diffuser stoppers because I find them so hard to get out. Oh, are you going to be an easy one? Yay! Oh. Is it um peony and blush? Or something like that? Oh, that's really, really nice. Peony and Blush by um, Jo Malone. I really like that fragrance. Oh, that's really good. It's quite like a feminine fragrance, I would say. Like, we actually do usually go for, like, more of a, like, musky, woody fragrance. But I really, really like that. That's, like, a really nice, like, bathroom, um, bedroom scent. But I think I'm going to put it in the lounge for today. Oh, that's really, really nice. Right, now I need to find a little home for you. Wait for Jamie to come home. Oh, oh my god, my jaw's quite sore. I'm feeling a bit bruised now. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, I'm a bit bruised. Um, 
and I keep forgetting that like, you don't realize how much you use like your nose and stuff like I keep like sniffing and it really hurts <laughs> and like like smiling and it hurts and yeah anyway um I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea oh I should have one of my biscuits I don't really want to ruin my appetite because it's takeaway night but I'm gonna have a biscuit um oh no because I want to take a photo a nice photo of them for her actually and I can't really get a nice photo with this crap lighting um so what I was trying to say yeah Jamie's at CrossFit I think what was the time mm. 10 to 6 so yeah I'm assuming he's gone to CrossFit and then he shall be back in about an hour um so yeah, we're gonna have a takeaway night.